Hi, this is John Fan, and I'm presenting the question this morning. It's something on my heart. Are we living our faith like Constantine or Patrick? Now, those are two historical figures. Constantine was emperor of the Roman Empire who legalized Christianity back in the 300s AD. And my point about Constantine and my thought is that Constantine brought Jesus into the Roman society and the Roman culture, but he did not do anything to change Roman culture. He did not say for the people to get rid of their pagan idols and, and their temples and everything. All he did was say, okay, it's okay to be a Christian now. And so Christians received Jesus and believed on Jesus, but they did so without having to give up any of their idols or, or change themselves in any way. The relationship with Christ went along with the relationship of whatever they had in the temples and the different things of that nature. Now, Constantine, on the other, or Patrick, on the other hand, was St. Patrick, where we celebrate Pat St. Patrick's Day, and he lived a hundred and some years late, later after Constantine. But rather than bring Jesus, like Constantine, who brought Jesus into the Roman culture, Patrick brought Ireland to Jesus. And there are two different, very different ways that he did that. Um, Patrick actually talked about the, the customs of the Irish, which at that time even had um, uh, human sacrifices. And they had a whole bunch of gods and goddesses and, and everything. But the way Patrick evangelized Ireland was that he told them about the fact that they don't have to sacrifice human beings anymore because there was one final sacrifice, Jesus Christ. And so he caused them to examine their lives on the one hand against the claims of Christ on the other. And that caused them to give up their, their ways one by one. And so that's very unlike Constantine, who just simply said, okay, Jesus, here you are, come into everybody's life, but they don't have to change anything. They don't have to compare what you say versus what Roman culture says. You can just go ahead and live your life. Now, Patrick, on the other hand, said, okay, this is what Irish culture says. This is what Jesus says. And, and he brought them to the decision point where they needed to uh, amend their ways to start thinking like Jesus provided and, and what Jesus said. And another one of these things is that Patrick very uh, astutely, and I think this is a good, good thing for us today, he noted the good things of Irish culture. He noted the loyalty, the bravery, the things that they respected, and the things that they honored. And he presented God as the creator who gave them all those traits and all those values within them. And so he said, you know, God is your creator. He's the one who gave you these things. So think in terms of him being the source of them, not these, these pagan gods and goddesses and, and such of the Druids and things of that nature. And so gradually, one by one, they gave up, the Irish gave up their gods and their goddesses and their, and their Druid practices and the different things because they compared their life to the claims of Christ. And when they found a discrepancy, they made a change. And the point I'm bringing today and the thought on my heart today is that so much of Christian culture today just says, hey, just accept Jesus along with all the other problems you have, along with all the other interests you have, along with other your goals, the gods and goddesses, if you will, of your life. You don't have to change anything. Just as long as you have Jesus, you're going to go to heaven, and that's all required. That's all that's required. Uh, I don't read that in Scripture. And, and Patrick followed the Scripture, and he said, what you need to do is compare your life to the claims of Jesus. And then when you do that, make the decision to follow Jesus and to practice his ways, to renew your mind, to change your ways based on when you find that discrepancy. Now, you know, that can be in terms of forgiveness of a friend, that can be, you know, working through the hurts of it, that can be uh, sin, that can be who you hang around, out with, that can be how you spend your time, how you spend your money, all the different things like that. Gradually, one by one, when we walk with Christ, he will ask us to compare his ways with what we are doing. Uh, very much the same way Patrick brought Ireland to Jesus rather than bringing Jesus to the Roman culture and asking nothing of them. The way Jesus evangelizes us, if you will, the way Jesus disciples us is very much like Patrick. He looks at the good traits that are in our life that he put there. He says, I am your creator. I'm the one who gave you these things. I want you to walk in them. I can enhance them and make you the best person you can be. And so in that, in that re, for that reason, uh, the Lord asks us one by one over the course of a lifetime, that when we come up with something in our lives that is contrary to what he has taught, he asks us to examine ourselves and to, um, you know, to make the changes. So that's my thought today. And I just want to make it very, very brief and just say, 
are we living like Constantine or are we living like Patrick? Are we just bringing Jesus into our culture and not changing us at all? Uh, just accepting Jesus along with all the other gods and goddesses of our lives, all the other things of our lives? Or are we like Patrick, who when we find a discrepancy, when we find a difference, we bring that to the Lord and make his ways a part of our life? That's how Patrick won over the entire nation of Ireland. He didn't bring Jesus into Irish culture as Constantine brought Jesus into Roman culture. Patrick did not bring Jesus into Irish culture. He brought Irish culture to Jesus. And that's what each of us needs to do individually. And that's how nations are changed. That's how communities are changed. That's how families are changed. All right. God bless. More later.